happens here. All right, welcome back. Remote operated vehicles. These things are ROVs as they're called. They're basically remote submarines that are commonly used for collecting information all along the ocean and the sea floors. That's right. And here in Albuquerque, the West Mesa High School Navy Junior ROTC is designing and building their very own ROVs. And they're paving the way for other schools to advance their own science, technology, engineering, and math programs. It's really cool. And joining us with more information, our senior chief, Kirk Nicholson. Great to have you, as well as cadets Jorge Salinas and Deja Sandoval. So good to have you all here today. Yeah, welcome. Thank you both for all of you for coming in this morning. You know, West Mesa is the only school in the state that has this program. So tell us about these. They're uh, it's just what we said, kind of remote operated submarines, right? Uh, yes. Um, basically, an RV is remotely operated vehicle, mm -hmm. which is driven underwater. Mm -hmm. And it's moved either by props or pumps. Okay. As you can see on these two that we have. And so you've designed this, you've created all of this. And I am completely in awe because this is something <laughs> I, I could never even imagine. I just think it's so impressive what you've done here. Well, how, how much work does it take to put something like this together? Seven weeks. Um, More than yeah. seven weeks because in total you're never fully done building it because mm -hmm. there's always either a prop falls off, falls <laughs> off or your buoyancy isn't working anymore because once you get it to the bottom of the pool, doesn't want to come back up, so right. you're always changing something, always building it. So, so far it's been seven weeks. Okay, talk us through what's on these things because they're very, very complicated. We can see these propellers, and I think you can actually turn these on, right? Yes. Okay, so go ahead. Yeah, oh, okay. talk, walk us through what all is in here and how these actually okay. work. Well, first of all, these two big tanks right here uh -huh. are the flotation devices. Here. So the um, the RV will be able to float and have neutral buoyancy. Okay, you're talking about these ones up here. Yes, we couldn't up see here. them a second ago. Okay, they're inside these plastic yes. cases. Okay. And then we have two props on the sides, which move it forward, backwards, okay. left, right. Yeah, they're right there. Okay, those are pretty cool. So that makes them move. And then how do they go up or down? Um, with these pumps right it. here. These vouch pumps. Okay. And then we use these controls right here. Okay. Up right, and down. You kind of hear them. They don't, unfortunately, they don't yeah. move if they're not in water. Yes, yeah. unfortunately. Okay. <laughs> we have right here, it's where all the connections are, all the wiring, so everything works. And okay. that's for this big ROV. Then we have the sea perch. Yeah, the sea perch, they're just, they're smaller and they, they practically do the same thing. Like you said, they, um, they okay. submerge in water, they, wow. they drive. Um, the structure is just a tad bit different. It's, everything's out of PZ, PVC pipes and then these are just film canisters filled with um, wax okay. so that water can't get in and mess up and short the battery. Um, so the same exact thing. Intricate details. Yeah. And you know, we have to mention that last week you had a very special competition. It was your first one, right? Yes. yes. Can you tell us about this? Yeah, we, uh, when we finished this project, we went out to search other schools that were uh, doing the same type of project we were, and we found out that there was no other school out there other than New Mexico State University. Wow. Um, so unfortunately, what we did is we did a uh, platoon competition so we have five platoons and all the platoons are competing um, for first second third place so uh, we're still tabulating the scores because now they've you know it's, uh, it's all fun to build and experiment and test mm -hmm. but now they've got to do the hard work and, and <laughs> right. do the research and figure out what they've learned in these six weeks so they have a poster board presentation they still have to do a, a presentation on so um, hopefully we'll have the winner here uh, next Friday, but uh, it's, it's interesting. I mean, they're definitely um, laying the foundation and framework for this to uh, go well into the future. We hope to spread this out through middle schools and other local high schools as well. Well, you mentioned learning. So real quickly, what have you learned about building ROVs? Well, I learned that it's you don't always get everything right the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Life's lesson, a lot like that, lesson. let me yeah. tell you. <laughs> like, first of all, we, follow, we had some plans that we got offline and we followed it we did exactly what it said right. but the rv didn't work exactly how we wanted to mm -hmm. so we had to make a bunch of changes this what you see right here this orange rv it's a whole brand new design okay. completely different from the so original a lot of trial and error is basically yes. what you guys yeah, were saying yeah. Well, we're really impressed with what you've done, and we hope you'll continue to keep us posted with the progress of all of you as well as who the winner is. So cool. thank you all so much for being here, and continued success in everything you do. Thanks. You're really Thank great you. examples.